and you guys do nothing. Let that sink in. Now, these are our elected officials. These are the men that we have charged with protecting our communities. We call them police, sheriffs, marshals, and you do nothing. In fact, like I said, some of them guarding the door. So some of you guys, and see, that's what I mean. They're culpable. Some of you guys, don't be giving up your guns. Some of you guys need to wake the fuck up and you know what to do. I mean, it's time. You know what to do. There's, I mean, you need to make some noise. There's like, there, if you, at the, don't whip out your phone, right? Don't take pictures. That time has passed. We have the fact that these people are sacrificing babies, raping babies, babies, less than two years old, less than five years old. They want them before they hit puberty because after they hit puberty, they don't like that blood so much because it's got the hormones and so forth in it. But, I mean, these people are sick, sick, sick fucks, and they need to be put to rest. They need to be put, they need to be ended. There is no fixing these people. There is no, there is no, I mean, Wiener is going to get 21 months. Uh, Hastert got a slap on the wrist also. And they're going to be back out. And we're going to let these guys continue on. Well, they're disgraced and so forth, especially the pedophiles. Uh, but they still, well, they're going to live the high life. While mom uh, has five joints in her pocket and she gets five years. Uh, while mom is curing her, trying to cure her own disease with cannabis oil. And she gets put in prison and her kid's taken away. And these fucking child rapers are going to live the high life. After they get out. And you think this society isn't ruled by satanic pedophiles. Who make it so that this is the case. I mean, it's just pathetic. I mean, Bubis Americanus, you have disappointed me to the point where I am just shy expatriating. Some of my best friends, I mean, I know guys that were intelligence, let's just put it that way, out of the country, already gone, uh, for health reasons. Um, you ain't fooling me. They know what's coming next. Uh, all my Jewish friends, all my wealth, every single one of my wealthy Jewish friends already gone because their parents fucking told them what comes next. Doesn't matter, Trump, doesn't, I mean, you see what's going on. Oh, and by the way, Soros, Nazi. Absolutely a Nazi. Go watch his interview. Right? The, that CNN thing, and see, this is the thing, CNN has become propaganda, just like if they tell you it's sunny, it's fucking raining outside, almost guarantee it. Same thing with NBC. Right? The, no, no, nothing but crap. Contains no news. Right? CBS. Because that's all it is. And these used to be the only three stations you could get. Well, not CNN. ABC, CBS, NBC. That's it. We had three networks. They programmed us all at once. That's why the older generation is so hard to talk to because they have been programmed for decades. And that programming, hard to change. Right? They want to believe that their government is good. They want to believe that they're, that, I mean, they absolutely want to believe that the media is telling them the truth. And it's a small percentage because most people have woken up. Most people have figured out, wait a minute, they're, they're censoring YouTube? Wait a minute, they're taking videos down? Wait a minute, they're, they're deleting tweets? Wait a minute, they're suspending accounts? Wait, 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 Facebook takes down, what is that, Syria girl or wherever she was? They just they got rid of all of her work all at once? Right? You don't talk about censorship here in the United States, here where it's enshrined in our fucking constitution that you have the right to speak freely. That's like the first fucking amendment followed closely behind because if you don't have the right to speak freely, then whip out your gun. And guess what? Uh, what we see here and people saying, oh, you know, an armed populace, dude, there are 700,000 guns just in Northern California and Southern Oregon alone. That's a fucking standing army. Ain't nobody coming to the United States. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody coming to the United States. The only place that we, if we fall, it's because of us. Right? And that's what Soros and these other people are trying to do. They're trying to whip up a civil war. Look for it on November 4th. Look at these Antifa idiots and jackals out there. And I know, and see, I think this is going to be one of the shortest insurrections ever. Because they're going to find out the guys have been, just like the British did a couple of hundred years ago, the guys that have been shooting squirrels since they were fucking seven years old with their 22s and their rifles and so forth, and now they're grown men with uh, more money and better firepower because it's how it works. Is if you like guns, uh, you don't keep your 22, right? You're going you're gonna to move up the, the ladder and get more fun and uh, bigger bang and, you know. Anyway, uh, and they're going to go up against those guys. 
and they've, you know, just recently bought their, uh, you know, the guy at the gun store had to put, show you which fucking way the bullets went in, and you, th- you know, you've had your fucking 40 hours down at the range. Okay, let's see it. I want to be in Fiji when this happens, by the way. I want to be fucking far away when this happens. But I bet you they get it started coming up next month. Uh, I can't guarantee it, but it looks like uh, from what I'm, the rumblings that I'm seeing on the internet and various videos and other YouTubers out there, uh, these Antifa fuckwits, um, looks like they're, they're looking to start some shit. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully it's just all talk and nothing happens. Uh, and, the, you know, it's just crazy tin foil hat conspiracy theory and everything just rolls along the way it's supposed to. But I never in a million fucking years thought I would hear fucking full-on automatic gu- weapons fire inside an American city. Never thought it. Ne- ne- I mean, and, I, and those bullets were hitting humans. Never thought in my lifetime, never. Never thought that would happen. But turns out it did. So it looks like they uh, they're not fucking around. They are trying to foment civil war, and uh, you're gonna see one fucking thing after another. Because like I said, that whole thing happened. If you can remember, when the Democrat narratives were falling and crumbling one after another, Russians hacking the election. Every I mean, every goddamn thing they said about Trump turns out not. Uh, you know. The whole racism thing. Oh, the whole, you know, not let... I mean, people starting to wake up to the fact, wait a minute, the Antifa, is the, they're the fascists. Wait a minute, free speech? We, we like free speech in this country. Uh, we're supposed to be able to speak freely. And most people understood that, yeah, if the fucking Klansmen can't speak, neither can we. The same laws that would be used against them will be used against us. It works very simply. Uh, people starting to figure out that, I mean, they're just fall through. And then they th- throw this false flag out. Turns out they can't convert the story into a lone gunman working alone. And all of this, all of fucking this, is to absolutely distract you from the fact that there's pedophilia in this country. That's the point. It is, sorry, it is, (laughs) it is uh, 100%. I mean, every news story, all these hobgoblins, all these false flags, all this bullshit, uh, Antifa, the whole, I mean, all of it, all of it to distract you from the fact that there's pedophilia. They managed to convert the Pizzagate story into Hillary Clinton and Podesta, the molesta, uh, selling kids or running a brothel out of a basement uh, with Alifantes in a, uh, you know, pizza parlor in D.C., but uh, that's not what Pizza Gate was about. You had a hard, hard time figuring out that uh, there was child trafficking uh, going on. Uh, now a lot of people have figured out, yeah, it's in the United States. Oh, and the government is also involved. Just like it took you forever to figure out, right? When Gary Webb came out and said that the CIA was selling drugs in our inner cities to the Negroes, selling cocaine and setting up distribution networks and so forth, that was crazy. To, oh, that cra- oh, turned out that was true. Because the government is absolutely involved in every fucking nefarious illegal activity you can think of. And uh, that nefarious activity in this case is child trafficking. Now, some of that child trafficking is just straight up child trafficking. They want prostitutes and so forth. But a lot of that child trafficking is for the satanic pedophiles. Now, what we need to do is get to the bottom of the fact that who's procuring these children and who's getting rid of the bodies. Who are, who's doing the guarding? Who's, who's keeping it hushed? Who's, who, are, who are the guys that are barring the door? Right, because they got armed guards. And if you think they'd kill over the fucking drug trade, you uh, got another thing coming. If, it, if you think they won't kill over pedophilia, and in fact, a lot of these guys getting found out. Uh, there are rumor, uh, rumors, uh, but I have not confirmed any of this. Uh, I can't. I just, but a lot of these guys are starting to figure out that uh, they'd rather die, kill themselves, than be found out. So, and a lot of these arrest stories, you're finding uh, a lot of these guys rather than being brought to light, they're being killed. Or they're, well, they're not being killed; they're killing themselves. I, like I said, can't confirm the story, but I guarantee you that in the future you're going to start hearing about people killing themselves. Already, you're hearing Weinstein, Weinstein saying that he's you now suicidal um, because there's more to it than just you know Hollywood starlets. Uh, and there's other guys uh, that still are not naming names, but are saying pedophilia is a problem, and this is not even the half of it. Weinstein isn't even the half of it. Uh, and it goes on and on, deep down, all the way from one coast to the other and into our government. The pedophile problem in D.C. and the pedophile problem in L.A., like I said before, it's like this. 
and those people are going to start killing themselves rather than be exposed or they're going to try and uh really really distract you a civil war might be a good thing to distract you with a nuclear war might be a really good thing to distract you with because make no mistake the pentagon is rife with it I mean, thousands and thousands of cases of child pornography at the Pentagon. Never just got spiked. That story just got spiked. I think that for sure I can link below. But the idea is uh, these guys are beyond repair and need to be put to an end. Simple as that. Now, uh, the pedophiles in government and Hollywood and, and uh, our Pentagon could absolutely kick off a nuke, I mean, push Trump into going into nuclear war with North Korea. Well, that would be quite the distraction. Nobody would be talking about pedophilia then, would they? Uh, how about uh, the economy crashes? Because i got to make a whole other video about the fact that the Chinese just fucking killed our dollar with their yuan and their oil bursts where you can, you know, trade yuan directly for oil or the other way around, and oil for yuan. And the U.S. dollar is nowhere involved in this. And then you can take your yuan over to the Shanghai Exchange and then turn that into gold. So basically you can take your oil and turn it into gold. Uh-oh. And it's not some little shit country that we can kick over like Libya or Iraq or whatever, right? Uh, it's China. And their military is bigger than ours. And, uh, you know, we owe them a couple of dollars. I mean, this thing has gotten completely to the point where I'm just... Tickled pink to sit back and watch, but I'm sitting back from a distance. I'm not going to sit next to the fire as the guys dump gasoline on it. I'm going to be like a nice long ways away. Anyhow, Crime Stoppers, I have uh, a few videos down there, I hope. <laughs> You'll see a few videos down there. This thing went on way, way, way too long, but I haven't made a video in a long time. Hopefully you watched it in parts, and uh, I'll talk to you later. But... Uh, E Pluribazunum, Crime Stoppers, remember that part, that it's united we stand, and right? divided we fall, and what they're trying to do is divide this house. I mean, and this house is divided. Now, we got these crazy liberals, but just understand, those liberals are only about 15%, maybe, just like the hardcore Trump supporters, about 15%. The other 70% of us hate both of you, just so you know, but we really, really fucking hate the Clinton people, right? These fucking child pedophiles. And you guys look the other way because vagina. Anyway, you play Resumum Crime Stoppers.